Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Gata Kamsky and Anatoly Karpov that was played in Elista in 1996. And where is Elista? Elista is the capital city of the Republic of Kalmykia in Russia. Gata Kamsky had white pieces and he started with e4. Karpov played c6, d4, d5, Karo Khan defends, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and c4. Variation that white plays is called Panov Botvinnik attack. Knight to f6, knight to c3, and Karpov played e6, not bishop to f5. Then white can play queen to b3, attacking pawn on b7 and pressuring pawn on d5. So we have e6, knight to f3, bishop to b4, pinning knight on c3, pawn takes pawn, and the black has a choice. Black can capture with pawn or with knight. Karpov captured with knight. So bishop is still locked behind the pawn. But white has isolated queen pawn. And at the moment pressure is on the knight on c3. Bishop to d2 unpinning. Knight to c6. Bishop to d3. Karpov castled kingside. And Kamsky castled kingside. Bishop to e7. Bishop accomplished his mission. Queen to e2. Connecting rooks. Ideally, white would like to play queen to e4 and then queen takes pawn on h7 checkmate. Knight to f6. Knight to e4. And now queen to b6, making room for rook to come to d8. Also, queen is attacking the pawn on b2. How should white defend the pawn? a3. What happens if queen takes pawn on b2? Well, let's check. One line goes like this. Knight takes knight on f6. Check. Bishop takes knight. Queen to e4, threatening checkmate. g6. Rook from f to b1. And where is the queen going? In the game, after a3, bishop to d7 was played. Rook from f to d1. Rook from a to d8. Knight takes knight on f6, check. Exchanging pieces benefits the side that is fighting against an isolated queen pawn. b4 should have been considered. Okay, so we have knight takes on f6 check. Bishop takes knight. Queen to e4 threatening checkmate. g6. Bishop to e3. Threat is d5. Attacking knight with pawn and bishop is attacking queen. Knight to e7. What happens if d5 is played now? Then queen takes on b2. And if now rook from d to b1, then queen to c3 can be played. Okay, so in the game, after knight to e7, Knight to e5 was played. 
knight to f5, knight to c4, attacking queen. And now, queen to a6. Not many people would consider this move. Placing queen on the same diagonal where light square bishop is. But if, for example, now knight to e5, then bishop to b5. So after queen to a6, a4, preventing bishop to b5, bishop to c6, attacking queen, queen to f4, bishop to d5, knight to e5, bishop is attacking queen, queen to b6, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, White has a passed pawn, but it is a weak pawn. And black has an advantage of a bishop pair. It is white to move. Rook to d2 was played. Bishop to g7. Bishop is safe on g7. Plus, black may be playing f6. h4. Rook from f to e8, queen to g3, rook to c8, knight to d7, attacking queen, queen to c6, knight to c5, b6, attacking knight, knight to d3, queen to d7, a5. And now rook to e4. Threat is rook to g4, attacking queen and the pawn on g2. Knight to f4. Not taking pawn, but b5. Rook from d to d1. Bishop to c4. Rook from a to c1. h6. What is the purpose of this move? Well, if h5 is played, then black would play g5 and then f4. White played rook to c3 with the plan to double rooks on c file. b4, attacking rook. Rook to c2, rook to c6, rook from d to c1, bishop to b5, and king to h2, taking the rook on c6 brings no advantage to white. So we have king to h2, king to h7, Rook takes rook, bishop takes rook. Rook to c4, attacking the pawn on b4. Bishop to f8, defending the pawn. Knight to d3, threat is knight to e5, forking queen and bishop. And we have reached critical position of the game it is black to move if you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for black in this position ready what did you find did you find queen to d5 if you did Congratulations, this is the best move. If, for example, rook goes to c2, I think rook takes bishop would be the best move. But if rook goes to c2, then rook takes pawn on h4 check. If queen takes rook, then there is checkmate just like that. King must go to g1 
and now rook to g4 is winning however in the game Carpo played second best move queen to e6 attacking rook d5 bishop takes pawn rook takes rook bishop takes rook it is white to move white has a difficult position the best move is bishop to f4 preventing bishop to d6 but there was a temptation to win the pawn and Kamsky captured the pawn on a7 but now bishop to d6 attacking queen queen can't move queen is pinned so knight to f4 was played queen to e5 attacking the knight what happens if bishop to e3 is played then perhaps queen takes pawn on b2 is possible knight is still pinned in the game in this position knight to h3 was played in this position Karpo made a move and Kamsky resigned what is the move queen to e7 attacking queen queen is attacking bishop white resigned if for example f4 then queen takes bishop in this game Karpo played very successfully against the isolated queen pawn very interesting game isn't it and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.